Hi friends, I've brought a new video for you. This video is going to be on Cicatrin. Cicatrin has neomycin sulfate and bacitracin zinc in it. It's made by GlaxoSmithKline. The price for the box is 59 rupees. Neomycin, polymyxin and bacitracin combination is used to prevent minor skin injuries such as cuts, scrapes and burns from being infected. Neomycin, polymyxin and bacitracin are in a class of medications called antibiotics. These medications in combination works by stopping the growth of bacteria. This combination of antibiotics comes as an ointment to be applied to the skin. It is usually used one to three times a day. And this one is in the form of powders. You should clean the area where you want to apply it and spread the powder and use bandage to cover the area. Follow the directions on your package or those given to you by your doctor carefully and ask your doctor or pharmacist to explain any part you do not understand. Use these antibiotic combinations exactly as directed. Do not use more or less of it or take it more often than prescribed by your doctor. This medication is for use on the skin only. Do not let these antibiotic combinations get into your eyes, nose or mouth and do not swallow it. You can use neomycin, polymyxin and bacitracin combination to treat minor skin injuries. However, you should not use this medication to treat deep cuts, puncture wounds, animal bites, serious burns or any injuries that affect larger, larger areas of the body. You should call your doctor immediately if you have any of these type of injuries. A difficult treatment, a different treatment may be needed. You should also stop using this medication and call your doctor if your medi of, uh, call your doctor if you use this medication to treat a minor skin injury and your symptoms do not go away within one week. Do not apply this medication to the chin, child, child, uh, child's diaper area, especially if the skin surface is broken or raw, unless told to do so by a doctor. If you are told to apply it to the child's diaper area, do not use tightly fitting diapers or plastic pants. To use this powder, you should wash your hands well with soap and water. Wash the injured area with soap and water and pat dry thoroughly with a clean towel. Apply a small amount of this powder and make a thin layer. Do not touch the skin, hands or anything else. Replace and tighten the cap right away. You may cover the affected area with a sterile bandage and wash your hands again. There are some side effects of this medication which are itching, rashes, hives, difficulty breathing or swallowing. There might be other side effects. Call your doctor if you have any, unu any unusual problems while using this medication. I hope you like the video. Please like and share our channel. Subscribe to our channel. Thank you.